Math 95, Quiz 6 Topics, Value Mixture Problems. A delivery truck is transporting boxes of two sizes, large and small. The combined weight of a large box and a small box is 75 pounds. The truck is transporting 70 large boxes and 65 small boxes. If the truck is carrying a total of 5,075 pounds in boxes, how much does each type of box weigh? So let's start at the beginning. Um, we have two sizes of boxes, larges and small. And what we want to know is how much does each type of box weigh? We have two different unknowns in this problem. And so let's use X to be the weight of large boxes. So X equals weight of a large box. And then let's choose Y to be the weight of a small box. That's what we will be solving for, the X and the Y. All right. Um, next, we know that the combined weight of a large box and a small box is 75 pounds. So that means if we put this weight of X and this weight of Y together, we would have 75 pounds. So that's giving us an equation. X plus Y equals 75. So that will be our first of two equations. Then it says the truck is transporting 70 large boxes. So that's the number of boxes, 70. And 65 small boxes, that goes here, number of small boxes. And then it says, if the truck is carrying a total of 5,075 pounds in boxes. So we've got total weight. So first we have, we need the total weight of large boxes and the total weight of small boxes. And then we'll have the total weight of both down here is 5,075. So think about how we would get this. Um, if I have 70 large boxes and each one weighs X, then 70 times X will be the weight of those large boxes. If I have 65 small boxes and Y um, is how much each one weighs, then 65 times Y will be the total weight of the small boxes. And so I can use this to make my second equation add up the weight of the large boxes, 70x, plus the weight of the small boxes, 65y, equals the total weight, 5,075 pounds. And now you see that this is my system that I'm going to be solving. It looks to me like one of the easiest ways to do this would be to solve for either x or y, and then um, use substitution into the other equation. And so let's take this one and subtract the y from each side. So I would have x equals 75 minus y. And now I'm going to put this in um, right in place of the x in this equation. So I have 70 times 75 minus y plus 65y equals 5,075. And then I do this multiplication by distributing. 70 times 75 would be 5,250. And then 70 times negative y would be minus 70y plus 65y equals 5,075. OK, um, let's subtract the 5,250 from both sides. And so I'm going to get a negative answer. I would get negative 175 over here. And then on my left side, if I do negative 70y and positive 65y, I'd end up with a negative 5y. Divide both of these by negative 5. And so I would have y equals 35. And so that's going to be the weight of my smaller box. 
and then I just have to put that 35 back into this equation to figure out the weight of the larger box. So x would be 75 minus 35, or 40, is the weight of the larger box.